morning all of you out there digging deep and discovering your voices it's actually quite funny um i was going to start this video talking about something completely different and i find i've just veered off track completely so apologies for that i'm going to start at the beginning with the message i was originally going to give you which was about storytelling and actually the other thing that just popped into my head will link with it so bear with me i've been thinking a lot about storytelling recently because stories are so unique to us they're our stories they're not other people's and for some people they have quite harrowing stories to tell and quite inspirational stories where they've gone from you know this harrowing environment or situation to complete triumph and it's not easy for them to tell their stories. It's, it's very difficult to get to that point when you're ready to spill your guts, if you like, to everyone who will listen. Yet sometimes it's equally as difficult to drag a story out when you feel you don't have one. Now, for many years, when I sort of started working and I was working with quite vulnerable people, and I heard some of the worst stories in the world. I, I heard things that I don't know. I absolutely don't know how people got over, but they did and became amazing human beings in, you know, on, on their journey. And when I started my speaking business, as I do now, and everybody kept saying, you know, you've got to tell your story. You've got to... I actually struggled because I felt, personally I felt, I didn't have a story. I had a reasonably normal upbringing in a working class family that had very little money, didn't millions of us. I went off to, um, to work when I left school doing the job I hated. I then went on to theatre school in London which I absolutely loved, did three years there. I, I had whims to do things, I went off to do them, I fell in love, I had my heart broken, all sorts of things that I felt were the same as everybody else. It wasn't really a story. So I quite struggled and I had to become quite a treasure hunter to discover deeply within me my own story. And yet I do have one. And I have a story that I have avoided telling people before because it was a very painful story it wasn't about my whole life it was about a time in my life at a time that molded me into the sort of person i am today so that is part of my story and no i'm not going to tell you my story if you're all sitting there waiting to hear about it i'm still putting that story together because it involves family it involves things and it involves a breakdown and it involves you know love gone horribly wrong and what you give up for, oh don't don't ask about this story i'm still trying to mold this story into something that um it is mine it is unique it has made me who i am and how i portray that to other people in a way that helps them understand what i'm trying to do for them as part of solving their problem and i think that's the thing with stories some of the great speakers in the world, the, you know, the Oprah Winfrey and Dr. Phil and Andy Harrington and even, you know, the, the greatest, those are the three that come off the top of my head. Do not ask why, but I follow them closely. So these people have stories that they tell where they've overcome adversity. And I bet you've been on all those webinars where people go, oh, I was sleeping in the car, I had this, and then I made loads of money. That's great. I have nothing but respect for people that tell their story. Personally, I don't wish to tell my story as a way to sell. I don't want to tell my story as a way of saying, oh, poor me, look what happened, but I'm better now and I can help you do the same. Because I don't think that's how stories work. We all have a story in us and we all have to dig deep to discover that story, which is part of your voice. For me, my story is about telling people how I became who I am today, how I became the person willing to put myself out there, willing to try things, how and why I became an NLP Master Practitioner, and that really is tied into my story. The things I did in my life, why did I do them? And 
and I want you all to think today about your story. It doesn't have to be the story of your life. It could be the story of a particular moment in your life that created what you do today. I talk to a lot of people who say I do what I do because either there was a gap in the market or it happened to me and I can help other people. Whatever your story is, it's your personal story and it's part of you. And if you want to be a better speaker and understand how to connect with people with your voice, you have to understand your story. Now in Toastmasters, the very first speech you ever do is the speech about yourself. You introduce yourself within a speech. And that was the most difficult speech I did. And I have to say, I played with it and tried to turn it into a big comedy thing, which is what I do. Everything becomes funny and nobody really sees what's going on inside there. It wasn't my true story, but I'm going to work at telling my true story because I want to get on those stages and be on those circuits. It's part of my goal as much as it is part, you know, one of my goals to help you get up there and speak. So you have to dig deep. I think I'm going to start calling us treasure hunters because when you dig deep and you hit that stream of gold or you hit that treasure chest and you understand your voice and your confidence to be able to tell people it is it's like discovering treasure so all you treasure hunters out there dig deep find your story try to understand your story because stories are very very powerful and understand how you need to use and tell your story now i haven't put that into the ultimate speaking course just yet um and it's something that i think i will tag towards the end because it is incredibly important to be able to tell your story Having a story is one thing, being able to tell people that story without, without manipulating people's emotions is another. So you have a great day, a great weekend. The sun is beautiful here, shining brightly. Those of you who have joined into the ultimate um, Speaking for Business course can't wait to get started on September the 1st. I now have a chat box on the course site so that we can chat to each other. And I will be available Wednesdays between 10.30 and 12.30 for live chats if you need. Really looking forward to that. And if you haven't booked up for it yet, of the £25.50 a month for 10 months, which makes it you know, £225, you, you're missing out. Because once this gets relaunched, the price is going to go right up because it really is the ultimate. It's got everything you need. So have a great day, great weekend. Talk to you again soon. Bye.